Love you, buddy. Love you. You're Well, it's been an interesting week around here to say the least and knowing that my son is at the moment in basic training on the other side of the country, I'm excited for him. Naturally, I'm a little nervous for him as well, but I'm confident that he made the right decision. And I asked my wife Cedar to sit down and talk a little bit about the feelings that she has, good, bad, and indifferent about her son leaving for basic training, but at the moment she's not quite ready to do that just yet. As excited as I am for my son and the new adventure that he has chosen, Cedar is a little bit more concerned. So when she's ready, she'll talk about it. We just dropped off our son down there at the, uh, the base that he was told to report to. He is in the process of flying across the country right now to go to basic training and then after basic training he will do uh, training for his, his job uh, in the military. Uh, Rhett has talked about the military since he was a little kid. Um, you know, as his parent, as parents, I think you just kind of sit back and wait and see uh, what your kids are going to do to a point. Rhett's about that age now where it's about that time for him to to go figure out who he is and and uh, you know about a year ago it seems like he started getting more serious about it and then um, maybe just a few months ago he called me and said dad I'm thinking of of joining the military we talked about the different branches of the military I talked about the different friends and family members that 
that we maybe should talk to before he joins the military. And the bottom line is he did what he wanted to do. He called the people that he wanted to call. Um, one day, uh, a month or so ago, all of a sudden I get a text message from him and it was him being sworn in. Anyway, he's taken the initiative to do this. And when we dropped him off, uh, he wasn't crying. We were the only ones that were, uh, that were crying. He was ready to go. You know, we're proud of him. It's kind of a, on one hand, as his father, it's kind of a scary time. There's part of me that goes, you know, I, I don't know that I want my, my sons in the military. But then there's also uh, the saying, what's that saying? You know, if it's not your kids, then whose kids? And Rhett's the kid. He's the kid. He's, I asked him if he could use the military to kind of further his, his skills as a mechanic, a diesel mechanic. And, and you know, he's, he's becoming more and more passionate about working with his hands. And that's what he decided to do ultimately, which, uh, which I, you know, I'm grateful that he's not going to be up front. But, but again, somebody's kids got to be up front. So I'm, grateful. I'm also grateful for those kids that, uh, those young men that choose to be up front. So a lot of feelings, majority of them positive. Anyway, it's just basic training. It's just the military. It's just the next six months of his life, you know. As fast as I know that time will go by, it, it doesn't mean that I'm, I'm not gonna miss the kid, that's for sure. But, you know, he's, re he's really close with his mom. He, you know, that's one thing that Cedar is, is Cedar's very involved in our, our kids' lives. And, uh, you know, she's naturally struggling with, with her oldest son. You know, running off and, and joining the military, but we're happy for him. We couldn't be more proud of him. You know, I can't wait to slap a Go Guard sticker on the back of my truck. You know, I've talked about this in the past in a number of different videos, but the older I get, the more I realize just how important it is to be married to the right person. I was raised by parents that put a tremendous emphasis on the importance of family. So much so that I felt like that was probably the most important thing that I would do in my life. Now, after raising five kids, clearly, it was the most important thing I could have done with my life. But naturally, watching your adult kids go out into the world and try and figure out if the things that you taught them are in fact the things that they need to get through life can be hard, but incredibly rewarding, especially when you see your kids make the right decisions time and time again. So even when we do feel a little bit of sadness, deep down it's short term, because I know that the long term joy that comes from being a father will long outlast any sadness.
Well, these are the things that I think about as I'm out here trying to get the shop completely finished up. And naturally, over the last few days, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And really, the end result comes down to feelings as much as I hate acknowledging feelings because I try to tell myself that feelings are the least important thing in my life. But deep down, I know that feelings are probably the only thing that matters at the end of the day. We want a pitcher, not a belly itcher. Bringing the heat. Woo! That's horrifying. Yeah, don't hurt his bat. Woo! <laughs> Woke me up. Hey, there we go. There it is. Hey, did you see that? I was going over the fence. There you go. Yesterday I was feeding the deer some snacks and one of the does was trying to eat out of my hand. So now it has become an official challenge and I'm gonna see if I can get them to take a corn cob out of my hand.
Well, as much as I want to try and talk you into feeling the way that I feel, I need to put my feelings aside and get a few projects finished up, and this is one of them. This is going to be the bed frame for a king-size bed in the downstairs bedroom. So rather than spending money on a king-size bed frame that probably isn't going to be as heavy duty as I want it to be, I'm just going to make my own. And originally I thought this would be under $100, but I'm here to tell you the price of everything has gone up. If I had put a little bit more time into this bed frame, I probably could have found a pallet or two that I could have broke down for all of the wood, but the nuts and bolts and washers alone were about $80. And that's not counting the iron pipe fittings that I'm going to use for feet. I went to the big box home improvement store to make some improvements for our chick's home. I got a bigger tub. It's very obvious they're gonna um, grow out of that little one we had. I should have known better, but anyways, went to town, got a box. Well, it was evening and we didn't really have too many options. And so they've been in that little tub for about a day, but now we're gonna transfer them over to the bigger tub. And I'm gonna very gracefully put some spots right here where I want you to drill so they're not all what are you trying to say? A ruler. Plumbers don't precisely. use plumbers don't use tape measures. How about you just put the holes wherever you think they need to go? I'll and meet you I'll... over here with my drill. And then that way it's not. Our youngest son Reed is at that age where he is starting to figure out that he also enjoys working with his hands, so I asked him if he would jump in and help me get all of these carriage bolts tightened up, and we had a blast getting the project finished.
type these top ones and then I'll get everything else ready for you. But you can help me if you want. Uh, no, the corners are going to be different. When our oldest son, Rhett, was about the same age that Reed is now, I would get Rhett his first dirt bike, and shortly after getting that dirt bike for Rhett, he would wreck it and have to get a few stitches in his knee. Reed is at that age where he also wants a dirt bike, but Reed has chosen to focus on sports, and for that reason, Dad doesn't want to get him a dirt bike. Because I don't want any lifelong injuries for Reed just yet. Now we have to put nine legs on the bed frame. Got it. All right, let's do uh, this side. So we need another one of those round things. Cedar and I have a total of five kids, three girls, two boys, Sage, Cheyenne, Rhett, Callie, and Reed. Our oldest Sage is 24, almost 25. Our youngest, Reed, just turned 11. As much as I have truly loved and found my purpose in life in being a father, I have loved being a father to daughters and the unique relationship I have with all three of my daughters. But I've also loved being the father of two boys. And the relationship I have with my boys is unique to my boys for sure. Yeah, they have those little, you gotta be careful. There's, Now, as unique as my relationship is with my boys, I know that the relationship that they have with their mom is completely different. And as much as I like to tell myself that I played a major role in raising all five of our kids, deep down, I know who played the major role in raising all of our kids. And that clearly is the mother of my children. Cedar always knew that the highest calling in life would be that of being a mother. On a side note, that driveway cleaner was purchased for our home in Gilbert, Arizona that we would sell somewhere around 2007. I've been packing that cleaner around for almost 20 years looking for a place to use it.
As far as the construction is concerned, the downstairs bedroom is 100% done. Now it's time for cedar to decorate it. Turn the lights on. Oh my gosh. Turn the other light on. What do you think about the bed frame? Wait, can I sleep out here? Negative. Is it is it gonna move? I'll bet that thing's sturdier than than our metal. Our, uh... That's cute. It's a yellowy light. Oh, oh my, it looks so nice. I just have to touch. We're gonna Mom, me and Mom are gonna, gonna be paying over. <laughs> oh, you know. Turn the lights on. What's up there? It's gonna be That's where the boogeyman lives, bro. Oh, now the time to nitpick. Oh, that's where the bats live, okay. actually. Now the time to nitpick, or should I leave them alone for a minute? Yeah, no nitpicking. <laughs> you can nitpick all you want, actually. What about this? You yeah, know, I have to do some caulking. I haven't done baseboards in here yet. Okay. So you're going to fix that and that, too, or no? I haven't done light switches, switch covers. It, it probably. Wait, All right, so on next week's video, uh, we will have that room completely finished. Cedar's gonna do her thing to it. I think we're going to some sort of an antique uh, swap meet tomorrow. And hopefully we find some fun stuff that we can put in that room. So uh, next week, I, I think it'll be dry enough where I'll be able to get out there and, and start uh, cutting in the rest of that trail. And uh, the thing I'm most anxious to do is to get on this this rock wall and we're still there's still quite a bit of snow coming off the off the hill that's uh, that's going to have to melt off first. But uh, thanks for stopping by. We will see you guys in a week.